Right, today um, I'm finally getting around to replacing the, the stripes that have all gone really bad on this motorhome. Um, we've ended up ordering a stripe basically. Um, we've measured the, the stripe roughly at its thickest and then what we're going to do is take this off and re-put a new one on. If you look down, if you sort of look down this, actually, you'll see that uh, it looks like somebody's cut it by hand myself before. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a pig's ear, in all honesty. So we're going to try and make that actually better. But obviously, all that we're using is a roll of vinyl. So if you've got stickers um, or striping on your motorhome or on your caravan that are coming off. Hopefully, I'm going to show you how to replace them, uh, and even if they're a bit of a funny shape, some hints and tips of how to do it. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to mask out the the line uh, to begin with. So I've given it a bit, bit of a it's, it's rain this morning, which hasn't helped me. Um, but all that I'm basically doing is masking off the the line of where the original sort of is sitting. If I can get my masking tape to stick that is. Um, and hopefully what this will do, it will give me a guide to cut the new decal to when I put the new one on. So just literally gonna mask off and make sure that that's stuck nicely. Do the same on the ends. And do the same on the, the top. And again, it's uh, just trying to follow the line as close as possible. And again, some decent masking tape always makes a world of difference. Um, so what that has now given me is something to actually follow um, so the plan is to take off the old sticker now clean up all of the old glue that's underneath of there i'll then put this on top and then with a, a good knife that is my big downfall of the day uh, I'd, I'd meant to have brought some really good knives some new uh, sharp knives in and what i'm going to do is then use this as my edge to run the the blade against if you've not got very thick tape you can double the tape up and that will just help you sort of follow that line when you come to cut the the decal that's the theory um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this first bit done i'm going to clean this up we'll come back with some photo video magic and it'll all be nice and clean um, we'll put on the, the stripe and then we'll attempt to cut that out and see how good a job we can do. But that's the basics of it, so let's see how it actually goes. Um, so we have now cleared the stripe off and again if they're really tricky just warm them up with a little hairdryer or a little heat gun and that'll make the actual old stripes come off a little bit easier but let's say it leaves then the glue residue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some alcohol out, we're going to get really drunk uh, and it'll make the job a lot easier. Um, that is a joke. Um, so we've just got some alcohol um, just to try and now melt the, the glue and then we'll start clearing all the old glue out. And so, I drunk all the alcohol, so I'm having to, it just wasn't touching it to be, well it was touching it, but it was taking too long, so I've moved on now to uh, sticky stuff remover, which is supposed to destroy sticky residues, chewing gum, tape, stickers, tar. So let's have a look if this makes it any quicker and easier. Finally, got it all off there and I ended up using, it actually says on the instructions this sticky stuff to soak it up and then use a bit of a scraper. So I ended up using my, my nail. If you've not got any nails, uh, try and find somebody that has, uh, and that's probably a better option as well to get all their nails all dirty. And then I literally, Just gonna go on there. What I think I'm gonna do is start from 
this end obviously you want to try and make sure that that stays nice and straight and a good way to do this is to literally about halfway down put that on there hold that roughly at the beginning hold that into place and then pop your masking tape on to hold it so I've got that sort of roughly in the position of that top line um, slightly deviated there but I'm going to live with that um, I know that my edge of the tape is, is fairly straight so I can live with that I don't know whether the masking tape slightly yeah, it pushed might up, it looks pushed like it's very just slightly. curved a little yeah. bit, doesn't it? You may just get slight discrepancies. Um, so what we're then going to do, start at the top corner, come forward just slightly. So again, we're making sure that we cover all of where the decal needs to be. And then we're just going to follow that top line, start from the top and work it down. And then hopefully we can just work it back with our finger. Try and make sure that you've got no air bubbles in there and then you'll start to see hopefully here now that where we've got the tape, masking tape, we've got a, a line. So that when I come to cut this now, hopefully it, uh, it all works. We can take this bit. If you've not done it before, what we're going to do is do the shortest edge first. And I say, this is where a, a good sharp knife really comes in, which I've, I've not got. Um, and we're just going to follow that line down and hopefully I've gone all the way through if you've not just test it go back over it Let's go nice and steady come back up there we go so we've had a practice now on the small bit so we're going to go for the long bit now right my hand was too wonky um, so I've got a nice straight edge now just to be able to sort of follow. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot Now obviously we should be professionals because we've done the first bit, we found out what we should be doing. Um, I've got a new blade, um, so a much sharper knife which is hopefully going to make things a lot easier. Um, I'm going to set our decal out again, I'm going to put it on as a complete, a complete run. I'm going to try and match into obviously what was there originally as best as possible. Um, and obviously line up with the, the new bit that we've put on there. So. Just trying to set that up first and do exactly the same as what we did the the first time. Now I know why never would out before. I know it would always turn out best so bad.
sense. So that is cooking a lot better. So let's just start removing. Take that off first. We'll clean that back up afterwards. Hopefully then this all can come out. And I think really the, the key is a, a nice sharp knife. Uh, it does make a hell of a difference. And then the last thing that I've got to do is I've just got to put a curve back in here and then slice in sort of this decal for that decal. So it's just pairing them up and matching them in as best as possible. This will give you an idea of now. Hopefully we've got a before and after. Um, we might just tidy this edge up now that we've got a nice straight, straight line um, and a good sharp knife so i'll probably just fiddle around with that a little bit better um, but that's the beauty of it because you sort of not got it completely next to the other side um, you can then just make very very slight alterations but obviously this now looks a hundred times better than than what it did previously um, and for the cost of i think it was probably six pounds for the for the cost of the new tape so it's not cost a lot and it's something that you can do at home yourself it's just having a little bit of perseverance and a little bit of patience and a sharp knife and even if it goes wrong you can take it off and exactly it, yeah you, you can just take it off remask it up and, and do it again not so. like painting is it no no you're not sort of uh, forever stuck if, uh, if if you do get it wrong so it's definitely something that you can have a go at home yourself um, if you've got a peeling sticker and it just just make a hell of a difference I can't remember exactly what it looked like now before but it it does make a big difference hopefully if you've got something similar uh, to give you the confidence to be able to have a have a go Matching the colouring, as I say, and a sharp knife, and then it's just uh, that sticky stuff made life a lot easier. I just use my thumbnail to get all the uh, the residue off and just clean it up with the cloth. Then, thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.